And now at five, the deaths of an Indianapolis father and his three kids have been ruled an accident. Divers found the bodies of Kyle Mormon and his three children in a pond on the south side in July. CBS4's Eric Graves has been following this tragic story since it broke. He talked to Kyle's family about the new information that was released this week. This is what the entrance to the pond where Kyle Mormon and his three kids were found looks like now. Barriers blocking off the entrance. Where his car was pulled out of the water, now locked up. Despite this new information, the family tells me they still feel like they have more questions than answers. It's the Easter picture. This, this Easter that just passed of Kyle and the kids. Kyle Mormon's family now wear necklaces and shirts to remember him and his three kids, Kyle the second, Kiana, and Kyron. Kyle was an awesome dad, and Kyle loved them babies. Kyle and his three kids were pulled out of a south side pond on July 12th after being missing for six days. Wednesday, the Marion County coroner said all their deaths were accidental, caused by drowning. Kyle also had acute ethanol intoxication, a local doctor says this is a level of alcohol in the body where the body cannot function normally. You, you just can't seem to do the things that you would normally be able to do to take care of yourself. Kyle's mom, Natasha Hayes, and stepdad, Teddy Green, say they can't believe this. He would never be intoxicated to where he could not take care of his kids. Green and Hayes want to know how much alcohol was in his system and when everyone died. They have not gave us no determination, no information on who died first. Kyle was last seen alive leaving his mother's house late on July 6th to take the three kids fishing. They say this is not unusual for him and they did not see him drinking before he left. The family says they found Kyle themselves in this pond on the corner of Troy and Bluff six days later. A dive team was then called in and Kyle's black sob was pulled out of the water with the three kids inside. The family says they're still frustrated with how IMPD handled the investigation. I don't feel they've done their job right from day one. In a statement today, IMPD says there are no updates in the ongoing investigation into how Kyle and his kids got into that pond. The family says they think something doesn't add up. None of this is making sense. Or his children in any position for harm. Kyle was the best dad. The family does tell me they are happy to see more safety measures put in place at this pond, like these barriers here at the entrance. Reporting on the south side, Eric Graves, CBS4 News.